You must not permit yourself to be distracted in what you have to say and what you have to do in a situation out there of social extremity and counter and confrontation. You don't know what's going to happen. All that is, all that exists, all that means anything is now. Where are you now? What are you doing now? What are you saying now? How are you standing now? How are you li You have to know how to listen to yourself in the now. And you have to be able to not only listen to yourself, but watch your opponent very carefully. And you have to have a come in with a lot of strategies and a lot of skills that you can go to in a pinch. And the only way to do that is with the mindset. Sandy Strong, strong on defense. I have to go along with him here. You must have the mindset. You have to tell yourself 24-7, I'm going to get hurt. There's no way I'm not going to get hurt. Maybe it'll be verbally. Maybe it'll be physically. Maybe I'll lose a lot litigiously, but I'm going to get hurt. One way or another, I'm going to get hurt if I want to go into encounter and confrontation. And sometimes you have no choice. And sometimes you're up against a bully. Like Mark Levin, I spoke to this man, and sometimes he goes too far. What he says, somebody has to jump in and confront and encounter this man. He's going too far. Now it becomes everybody's fight. Sometimes the bully becomes so hideous, so detestable, so provocative, so stupid. But it's a dangerous stupidity because it co-opts. This is an activist. It's a very, very, very dangerous activist. Now, sure, Levin is act reacting and coming back to the garbage that we saw from the radical left during the 60s, the Nixon years, of course. Both are hideous extremes. I'm criticizing both. However, that's the way things are done. You First, you have to get attention. First, you have to be heard with whatever it takes. If you can't get attention, if you can't get respect, if you're not being heard, you're finished. Trump got this right. He said, if I win any way I can, I have to win any way I can or, I'm, or I can't do anything if I don't win. He's right there. And so this puts out a horrific message morally, ethically, to say nothing about the phony traditional values. And L Trump himself, in the way he runs the campaign with his brains, Mark Levin, is the example of a horrendous contradiction. Do what I say, not what I do. But what I say is garbage. What I say is provocative, and the way I say it with arrogance, with sarcasm, ad hominem arguments, insults, ridicule, mockery, that becomes everybody's fight. You come in with good faith to have a discussion, evidence and argument with a man like the Ven, and here you go, there it is. There's your ugly, hideous, monstrous, big city roach called Mark Levin getting on top of you. Throw him off. You have to take a bully like this and follow him wherever he goes. If he wants to fight in a sewer, you'll fight him there. You'll fight him in the street. You'll fight him everywhere. You always correct. As soon as he makes an assertion, you're right behind him saying, on this and this time, Mark Levin says, on this and this time, he was wrong. And here's why he was wrong, point for point. This and this time, Mark Levin said this. This and this time, Mark Levin called me a dwarf, a troll. I say, Levin, you're ugly. I say, Levin, you got a big fat baby on you. You're ugly, Levin. And your wife is still ugly, Levin. You've got to take the verbal hatchet to a man like that. Notice I said hatchet, the verbal, verbal. But sometimes a bully goes too far and it becomes everybody's fight. He becomes so obviously hideous and monstrous that it becomes everybody's fight. I know you've experienced that. Sometimes you see a bully acting and he's just gone too far. Then that becomes everybody's fight. I've seen it over and over again. Then that becomes everybody's fight. But as far as I'm concerned, I want to handle that bully. I, I, I take it personal. 
When I see the bully, I've, I've, I've had a billy full of these bullies in my life. I want to handle it personal. I don't want any entourage. I don't want anybody fighting my fight for me. This is my fight. He called me out. He didn't call you out. He called me, and I want to see about it. The only problem is, my friend, I'm 80 years old. I'm crippled, man. I have degenerative cervical spine, which doesn't allow me to move my arms. I have limited use of my arms. You understand that? Balance problems. You understand that? That's why I have to be careful. Anybody can knock me down. Do you know what it is like to live under that kind of pressure every day? But still, with all of that, you have to know, you have to figure out a way personally. This is your hell. This is your walk. This is a cross you have to bear. How are you going to deal with that? But any way you go, anything you choose, you've got to own it. You've got to be grateful for whatever it is. You go out there, you face a bully like Mark Levin. And you get busted up out there. You get scar your face up. Hannity or O'Reilly. Dr. Phil. You get busted up. You put a lot of hard work on those wounds. You study. You do a logical sortie to recreate what happened. You do psychodrama. You use the camera on your damn cell phone. And recreate. What did I look like? How was I standing? What did I say and do by posture? by ver verbal uh, 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 positioning to bring this hell on. It didn't happen in a vacuum. Listen to me, and I'm telling it to you. Nothing happens in a vacuum. You did something. And until you find out exactly what you did to provoke the money like a Mark Levin, you're going to have to face him over and over again. And if he develops a cumulative effect, if he brands you, and there's that word, there's that word for it right in Trump's face. If he brands you successfully, you're finished. And you didn't do anything to cast that brand off. You let him tell you who in the hell you are, a piece of trash like that, Mark Levin, to define you, tell you who you are, what you're living. Bullshit. Bullshit. The hell with that. The hell with that. First and foremost. I must live with a man I see in the mirror and the accounting I give to say what happened, why it happened, and what did I say and do or not say and do that provoked it. You take and you learn from every situation. This was a bad one, encounter and confrontation in the environment, in a sociology of the absurd. But I learned something. I sharpened skills. I sharpened strategies. I came up with new tactics and went right back out there and counter confrontation and see if I can apply that. See if I've learned something. Prove, if, prove to myself and the environment whether real learning has actually taken place. Show me, man. Don't tell me.